Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is your Tennis Now News Update. Serena Williams' calendar Grand Slam dream was denied last month and today the world number one closes the book on her season. The 21-time Grand Slam champion says she's going to skip the China Open and the WTA Finals in Singapore starting at the end of the month. In a series of tweets, Serena says she is stepping away to address her health and to heal. Serena has battled elbow and knee issues this season, but coping with the heartbreak of failing to complete the calendar Grand Slam has been most painful. Serena's coach, Patrick Moritogalu, told ESPNW it'll take some time for her motivation to come back, but he expects Serena to bounce back and play for years. Patrick says she was two matches away from something really big, so it was very painful and it just takes time to recover. So, what does her departure mean for Serena and for the WTA? Serena is the three-time defending WTA Finals champion, so that means we're going to see a new champion at the year-end event for the first time since 2011. And it could mean a depleted field for Singapore as well. Serena's announcement comes just days after Maria Sharapova retired from Wuhan with an arm injury. Maria said she still hopes to play the WTA final and the Fed Cup final, but given the fact that she hasn't completed a match since losing to Serena in the Wimbledon semifinals, her status is uncertain. Now, as for Serena, 2016 is an Olympic year. She is the defending gold medal champion, and she says the Grand Slams and the Olympic Games are her most important events. Look for Serena to rest and recover to gear up for what could be a very busy 2016 season for her. So while Serena is looking to recharge, Venus is looking revitalized. Venus scored her 700th career match victory, becoming just the ninth woman in the open era to join the very elite 700 club. The 35-year-old Venus battled into the Wuhan semifinals where she will play Roberta Vinci next. And maybe you remember, that Vinci is the one who scored the upset at the U.S. Open against Serena in the semifinals. Well, big sisters should be highly motivated in that match. You know, Venus visited our Tennis Now studios earlier this season, and we had some fun with her, asked the biggest perk of fame and the hip-hop name she would choose for herself. And here's Venus's reply. I think the biggest perk is just being able to inspire people that you never knew you would have or could have or that your life could impact others in that kind of way. If you were a hip-hop artist, what would your stage <laughs> name be? <laughs> uh, Queen V. <laughs> love it, love it. Nick Kyrgios has had a very controversial and crazy season. Makes you wonder how he finds a sense of calm and inspiration. Well, wouldn't you guess, he says from Roger Federer. Kirio says he watches Fed all the time when he's in his room doing nothing. He says he goes on YouTube to watch Federer. He thinks he's the greatest of all time. He is the one role model I have off the court as well, he says, because of the way Roger carries himself. Earlier this year, Kyrgios upset Federer in Madrid, creating a viral video moment in that match. Frustrated by some missed calls and perhaps Kyrgios' arguments and his antics on the court, Federer was not happy. We need a clown for the circus. In other news, the Bryan brothers rocked their recent homecoming. The twins returned to their hometown of Camarillo, California for a charity exhibition against John Isner and Sam Querrey and a concert raising funds for their foundation. And Long John was realistic about beating the Bryans. Huh. Well, considering Sam and I have never, ever, ever beaten them, um, I probably don't like our chances too much, but you never know. Uh, that's why you play the game, so we'll see what happens. That event netted more than $90,000 for the Bryan Brothers Foundation, which supports junior tennis in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties. It also brought Big Bang Theory star Kaylee Kuko out in support. I did. Bob and Mike have been basically my godbrothers my entire life. 
I just think it's great. Bob and Mike have done so much for the sport of tennis and, um, and, and giving back and charities in Southern California and all over the world. And um, I just am always here to support them. And, and I'm proud to be part of their little clique. I love tennis and um, I love their foundation. So it means a lot to me. And speaking of Kaylee Kuko, it was one of her first public appearances since she split with husband and ATP pro Ryan Sweeting. You may have caught this. U.S. Magazine reports the star chose to end her marriage to Sweeting because she says he could not kick a painkiller habit that spiraled after undergoing back surgery. And we're going to leave you now with an image of 6'11 Evo Karlovich meeting his mini-me in Malaysia. Now that's a picture. And David Ferrer and Grigor Dimitrov played some Malaysian music. <laughs> That's our news for now, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.